JJ the CPA here, hope you're doing well. Unemployment, stimulus checks, PPP, PPP forgiveness, EIDL and the EIDL grant. As it relates to the stimulus checks, the $1,400, I would recommend you pause for just a few days if you're getting ready to file your 2020 tax return because maybe, maybe a small chance that a way you're able to get the $1,400 is on your 2020 tax return. Not likely, but why would you want to file until you know? So wait, I'm going to put a link to the IRS website. Keep checking it to see how the IRS is planning on sending those checks out. Even if you've heard they're going to be checks, great. Let's wait until we get official word. So you might pause before you file your 2020 return. It's only going to be a few days to make sure that you don't file it and then realize oh, I could have got my $1,400 quicker by including it on my 2020 return. Just a maybe. As it relates to PPP, that program ends March 31st. If you are applying, you're in the process, you need to get after it. If you applied and you haven't gotten your money before March 1st, I'd recommend you get a hold of the bank, cancel your old application, and get a new application under the new rules. That's all assuming that whole comment if you're a Schedule C filer because now it's under the gross. If you didn't prepare or file or fill out or submit new information, which is line seven on that application, if you didn't go and look at line seven on your Schedule C, most likely 99.9999% chance you filed under the old rules. So you need to check with your bank then for those of you that are filing for PPP, otherwise, it, mar it ends March 31st, right? Pedal to the metal. Keep after that. Make sure that it's progressing. Uh, as it relates to the unemployment, they are extending it. But just make sure that you don't have to do anything else to then get it extended. Some states not. Some states you got to go and reapply or conv not convince, but uh, 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 tell them that you need the continuation of it. Why sit around and guess? So I'm going to put a link to the Department of Labor uh, website. You can click on it. It goes to your state. Even if you already know where to go for your state, I would recommend clicking on this link because the Department of Labor gives you links to all websites for your state. And you never know, there could be a website or a web page that you haven't seen. So just make sure and be proactive on your unemployment related to that. On PPP forgiveness, if you have applied and you haven't received it, get a hold of the bank right away and cancel it. Stop it. Withdraw it. It's locking you out of something. Okay. Right now, with new stimulus coming, there might be something in the pike. There, there's a big boulder again going into the pond, which is a good one, but a lot of little ripples. And it seems like PPP forgiveness has locked out now three different groups for those that went and got PPP forgiveness. Heck, it's not even due until July. I don't know why anybody has been filing yet other than they want to check it off their list. Okay. Or the bank said you got to do it even though it's not required. Somehow they're requiring you to do it. But it's affected the ERTC. It's affected those being able to go and reapply. And then it's definitely affecting now again for the Schedule C filers. Filing for PPP forgiveness should be off your list and put it on what you're going to do in May, June, or July. Then, as it relates to the EIDL, this stimulus is not providing another EIDL. If you haven't gotten the EIDL, then get after it if you need the money. It's not a forgivable loan. You do have to pay it back. No, I'm not advocating debt. But if your house is on fire and you think you're going to need some money soon, I don't know that there's going to be as much to go around sometime in the near future. So get after getting the economic injury disaster loan. I'm going to give you a link to that. If you applied for the EIDL, there's not another one. If you applied for the EIDL and you didn't take the whole amount, you might consider, are you going to need it? Maybe you should get back with the SBA and see about getting the rest. You can just call the SBA on the, on the phone number on your loan documents on the EIDL grant. They are putting more money into the existing program. So they're not putting money into something new. They're putting into an existing program on the targeted grant. Now, my understanding is, is that if you applied for the EIDL on or before December 27th, you should be getting an email from the SBA for those that didn't get the full 10,000 or didn't get it at all. 
So if you haven't got that email, then go and check your junk email for SBA. It might be time to call the SBA because they started sending these emails out a little bit ago. And so if you haven't got it and you're curious if you qualify, then you should follow up with them. I'm going to give you a link to the SBA targeted uh, web page, targeted uh, EIDL targeted grant web page on the SBA site. And then also when you, if you do get the email and you are able to apply for the EIDL targeted grant, which there's some qualifiers to it, 300 or less employees, eight weeks of reduced uh, gross receipts, and then in a low income community, but I'm going to put a link as well to what the SBA put out, which is a, to a map for you to be able to uh, determine if you're in a low income community. Now, if you have questions about any of this stuff, here's my overall encouragement. Don't go around asking other people. Talk to your bank, call the SBA, watch the IRS website, get your information directly from the source. Spend your time and effort at the source, reading the documents, asking a question, you're most likely not going to get the right answer to your circumstances. Asking somebody else besides the bank anything about your PPP loan is the, it just, it doesn't lead to anything. As you're waiting for any of this, you want more clarification on it. I understand you may be watching other things and reading other things, but always get back to the source. And that's why I'm giving you all of these links. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. And then don't you ever forget, you've never met a CPA quite like me. Have a great one.